I remember I was like, wow, what an inhibitor to, to living your life or following a dream. The only thing you're really trying to do is get through the day and manage pain. And I think there's so many Americans out there, so many people in the world that live with this low level of chronic inflammation and chronic suffering that you, you forget about it. And so to get out of that, it's, it really is like, man, what a gift. I don't, I think there's like, it's just, you know, that's, again, that's why I'm so excited about some of these new discoveries about what hydrogen and electronically expanded water does in the body. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Okay. So I, I convinced, I was convinced because I tried it on myself that it'd be safe if I recommended it to other people. So I told all the thousands of people that had bought ER fifties that they could do this modification and inhale the gas, which I, I happen to have my car. Uh, I'm just putting on my cannulas right now. Cause I usually start a podcast like this without the oxygen cannulas on. <laughs> now I'm inhaling the Brown's gas. So in any case, the, uh, <clears throat> I was doing it myself so I could I could recommend it to people and I would know that they they weren't going to have explosions in their lungs or any other negative side effects. In fact, there's been over 2000 studies now of various hydrogen uh, uh, mitigating ailments and studies of studies and they are universally zero negative side effects. There are side effects, but it's usually something else being healed then what the, the ailment they were going after, the, the ailment they're going after gets better, but other things get better as well. So it was, yeah. it was very interesting. Okay. About three months after I started, I told these people what they could do to modify their ER50s. And I continued to sell ER50s, but now with this modification on, so they've got the four protocols where you could inhale the gas, you could put the gas on the skin, you could drink the water, or you could put the water on the skin. A woman got back in touch with me and and told me without knowing that my late wife had lupus because at this point i hadn't told anybody about that she she said that she had lupus symptoms and in three weeks time they were gone mm. i had brown's gas for health been told by god for some odd reason in 1996 didn't try it myself in two, 2005 but i had brown's gas since 1986, but known about health purposes since 1996. And of all the things that I tried with my late wife, and I was $300,000 in debt, by the way, at that particular point in, in March of 2016, we were, we, we'd spent money on all kinds of, all kinds of things, anything we could find to try to help this woman get healthy. To the day she died, I was doing my best to help her get healthy. She'd even, as, as she laid there in bed, she even begged me a couple of times to say, let her, to, to let her go because, because she could see how it was affecting me. And she was just that kind of person, but I couldn't, and I didn't. And uh, so when this woman told me that she had had lupus and it was gone in three weeks time, I remembered the almost decade that I had fought we had fought and I had Brown's gas and never thought to give her Brown's gas. And that literally, literally laid me out on the floor. I could not even get up off the rug to get onto the couch. I just was absolutely floored in every sense of the word. And there wasn't, the only way that I finally figured out how to get off the floor was to not let this happen to as many other people as possible, to make it my life's mission, to make sure that as many people as possible get Brown's gas so they don't go through what we went through. And yeah. I got up off the floor and I've been doing that every day since for the last few years, since that would be about June or August of 2016 getting up at as early as three o'clock in the morning, working as late as eight o'clock every day, seven days a week. I've been doing this because I have to. 